Hi everyone, once again welcome to the channel. Today in this video we are going to solve a lit code problem reduce array size to the half. So given an array, you can choose a set of integers and remove all the occurrence of this integers in the array. And we have to return the minimum size of that set so that at least half of the integers of the array are removed. So let's understand this problem with the example given in the problem itself. So here we need to remove the occurrence of the number and we have to select the number such that the selection of the number is minimum and we can delete remove all the occurrence of that number which we select. So for example if I select 3 first then I can remove all the occurrence of 3 so I will able to remove 4 threes but the total length of this array input array is n which is 10 so still we need to remove more so we can then select 5. So once we remove the all the occurrence of 3 and 5, so we selected 3 and 5 and we remove all the occurrence. So in our set we selected first greedily 3 and 5. So after that only 2 to 7 is left over and this is 3 which is less than equals to the half size. So half of 10 is 5. So is yes this is the one answer. So the answer we need to return the size of our selection sort uh, selected set so which is 2. So we can return 2 is the answer. Is there any other solution? Yeah, there are many other solutions like instead of second 5, we can select 2 as well. So we can remove all the occurrence of 3 and 2. Then after that, we will left over like 3, 5 and 7, which is total count is 4. And it is again, we remove uh, at least half element. So again, the answer is 2 because we are only able to, we are selecting only 2 integers. And there is any other solution? Yeah, there is other solution like we can select instead of 2 as well, we can select 7. So we can have another answer like 3, 7, but we don't have to return this answer. We just need to return the size, the minimum size of our selected set. So how we will solve this problem? Once you got this idea, like the idea is behind this, we first need to find out the frequency of each element. And then somehow we can sort the frequency in the decreasing order. And then greedily we can pick the, the highest, like the most frequent to number first and we will keep pick in our selected set such that we uh, once we reach the half of the size once we reach the half of the size we will stop there and that is the count of number of distinct element in our set which is the answer so how to solve like once you got this idea this is very straightforward problem you can solve this problem in many different ways so first we need to do find out the frequency of each element in our set so here we can use map or dictionary in python so first we will count the frequency so three occurrence of three is four times occurrence of five is here three times occurrence of two is oh, is two times and occurrence of seven is one time now once we got the frequency map what we need to do we need to greedily pick the highest frequency occurrence element first and then keep doing until we find the total sum of the frequency of element is half so what we can do so one of the best data structure we can use here heap so which is max heap so we will build the max heap of the frequency of the elements once we build we will pull this element from the max heap first we will get four so we will keep adding this in some variable like total count and we also create an answer variable that we every time increment one whenever we pick the element from our uh, max heap. So still this and every time we will keep check if the total count selected is great less like cross or not the half. So we will run this while the count. So let's say if this variable is count. So then I can keep running until count is less than n by two. Then we will keep picking and update this value into the count like count initially is 0 initialize is 0 then it become 4 still it is less than 5 then we will add 3 so it becomes 7 and it will stop and here answer will be updated from 0 to 1 to 2 so 2 is the answer so you can now pause the video and implement this code by yourself so let's see i already implemented this code here so this code is like first we are building the frequency map then we declared a uh, uh, max heap using the priority key implementation in java so if you are using c++ and python you can use uh, priority queue of or, or the max heap so this is the comparator for max heap like reversing this once it done we are adding all the frequency 
frequencies from the map values into the prior max heap once it done now we initialize two variable like answer from zero and count is zero and declared a half is like half of the length and this loop file will be run until as i explained count less than half and update the count by the value from the polling from the max heap the maximum value then update the count by answer by one and keep doing it in the end we will return so what is the time complexity of the solution so in worst case if all we have all the distinct element occurrence is one by one which is the size of our array is n then in that case building this heap will take n log n and that is will be the dominant factor like this will be n this is n log n and this is also n so overall time complexity of this code will be o of n log n so that is the time complexity and the space complexity as we are storing over here so if n element then we will have n key value pair similarly n over here so this overall dominant space complexity o of n so this is well and good you can solve in your interview but interviewer must have a follow up question can you do it better than n log n so you must have guessed like whenever we are dealing with these counting problems in that case we must try something using a extra space or a space like we are already using some space can we reuse so here we will use the bucket sort so how to use the bucket sort let me show you the constraint over here it is given that the array element are in the range of 10 to the power 5 and total element in array is also 10 to the power 5 so once let's understand that bucket solution so first of all we have to build again the counting map that is be needed anyway once we done what we will do instead of like creating priority key or you can create a array and sort that we will try to store this frequency in a bucket of based on the frequency bucket so first we will create a bucket array so that is let's say capital v over here and we create the size of this array like either you can find out the maximum frequency by one pass or you can take the max which is given the maximum frequency can be of in the array 10 raised to power 5 so we will create an array of 10 raised to power 5 plus 1 so that we can incorporate all the frequency once it done we need to mark the presence of each different frequency in our array so we iterate through this uh, element data so we mark like frequency of uh, at 4 so this will be 4 let's say and after that there are more so at 4 we have one occurrence so the frequency of 4 is occurred in our counting is 1 then 3 is one time then 2 is one time then 1 is one time so okay that is okay extra so here is a 0 this is 1 2 3 4 like that this is our bucket once we mark the frequency after that now we can do multiple like uh, picking from the end so the maximum whatever the maximum index of our bucket we will start check picking and again we create like two variables same like one is answer another is count so in count we will add the frequency the that frequency is representing the we will initialize another variable let's say frequency that is from the max value of 10 power 5 or you can find out the maximum frequency occurrence in your data that doesn't matter it's like same so we can initialize from this highest value and like 10 power 5 now we need to check if there are occurrence of this frequency like what is the number is there if it is like not zero if it is zero we just uh, decrease the frequency by one frequency by one and continue it and if it is not zero then we will sub add that frequency into our counter value and increase answer by one so because we are selecting this occurrence like this many elements to uh, remove in uh, uh, from the original array and that we will keep run until again the same condition while like count is less than equals to half by two so that is the idea now let's pause the video and you can try the code by yourself let me implement this code so for this we need this as it is here just we will twist the code over here instead of this we will declare first a bucket array so let's say b is a bucket array and now this is or let's better to name it better so that it will be more readable and uh, this code the size of our bucket is 10 power 5 plus 1 so this is 1 over here once it's done now again this we need to mark the presence of each frequency 
so that um, presents marking like we will iterate over our map so we the values in the map so map dot values so once we are going through we will update bucket or better to call this as a f so frequency this represent the frequency so bucket of f is plus plus so once it done this uh, after that now we need to select the numbers and fill in so we will declare here another variable let's say frequency so that freak or freak from the 10 power 5 so this will become 10 power 5 now this loop keep running as it is until our count is, is there then we will check first if bucket of current frequency is zero if bucket of current frequency is zero then we just decrease frequency by one so freak minus minus and uh, continue from here there is no need to update our count and answer otherwise we will update our count by adding the frequency in it frequency in it and uh, this is okay and after that we also increment our answer by one and also here we need to update the of uh, like we selected one time this current frequency item and we just decrease this y1 we don't have to decrease here frequency because uh, there might be chance like for same frequency we have multiple occurrence so that will be taken care over here once the bucket of that frequency becomes zero so let's try to compile this code and see if this works so this is my earlier submission so yeah it is working as it is now we can submit this code and it got accepted now what is the time complexity of this solution so let's see so this is building the map o of n building like filling the bucket o of n as the maximum frequency can be 10 power 5 plus so that's why o of n again now we are going through frequency like every time we are reducing the either the frequency by one or the bucket of frequency one so there as you can see the constraint which is like in anyhow total we will run the 10 power 5 so that is the o of n as well so the overall time complexity of this solution is o of n and the space complexity is uh, again o of n as so that is the solution if you want to do further little bit more optimization in this code you can like here you can find out the maximum frequency so maximum frequency you can declare uh, some maximum frequency variable over here and like max frequency and initialize from zero or like there must be a one element so you can inside any number and you can keep update this maximum frequency over here while filling your bucket once it's done so instead here instead of initializing this frequency from the very most 10 power 5 you can initialize it from the max frequency itself and then keep doing it so that is if you like this solution please subscribe this channel and share this video thanks for watching